Welcome to the SCP Foundation, where we secure, contain, and protect anomalies that threaten our world. Today, we will be discussing object number SCP-271, also known as the inscribed disk, its classification, and its containment procedures. SCP-271 is classified as Keter, and it's a small metal disk with an unknown composition, about 4 centimeters in diameter. The disk has a series of symbols engraved on it, which can represent an unknown alphabet or not. Over time, these symbols become contagious, spreading to nearby objects and appearing as if they were invisibly carved into them. These symbols can escape through even the smallest holes, but they cannot penetrate non-gaseous liquids. Objects that bear the symbols for a sufficient amount of time begin to transform at a molecular level into the same material as SCP-271. Both the engraving and petrification processes are extremely painful for biotic organisms. To contain SCP-271, it is stored in containment unit 12 placed on a 1 meter high stone pedestal and sealed inside a hollow 5 centimeters thick glass sphere infused with iron. The sphere is filled with water and held in the air by permanent neodymium magnets placed around the room. The room is lined with pyrolytic carbon to contain the magnetic field generated by the magnets. The door to the containment unit is left unguarded and disguised as a custodial closet. It is kept locked with a discrete password box that looks like a thermostat mounted on the wall at the end of the hallway and around the corner. Dr. VG changes the password monthly. All studies are to be conducted for observation purposes only. In the event of unauthorized access, electromagnets in the room are to be activated by remote control to destroy the glass sphere, making retrieval easier. SCP-271 and SCP-271-01 are completely covered in the engraved symbols, making them appear to float and look not quite there. The symbols also appear to be somewhat fractalized, with miniature symbols revealed within and around the larger engravings on both objects. SCP-271 was recently acquired from the Church of the Broken God by Mobile Arm Task Force 12. It was previously stored in a sealed room until the assembly was complete. However, due to hostile forces, the shrine itself was pulverized. The remnants of MATF-12 were forced to retreat, but contact was re-established. SCP-271 is currently hidden, as it is considered more prudent to keep it relatively unprotected than to attract attention through a costly recovery mission. Lastly, SCP-271 is not to be brought into the presence of SCP-882. Thank you for watching this video on SCP-271, its classification, and its containment procedures. For more information, please visit our YouTube channel.